Welcome back to the Tech Speed YouTube channel. We got another exciting build series for you guys. This one's a little bit more daily driver friendly. I know you guys, a lot of you guys have these trucks, but we are going to be cam swapping one of the Gen 5 LT trucks with one of our new Stage 1 low lift camshafts. So we haven't had any low lift camshafts for these Gen 5 trucks. We just released a new line of these low lift camshafts. We're going to install one in this pickup truck and see what it does. Right, we just took this truck to Biddle Motorsports, right, and put it on his hub dyno. This truck made 273 horsepower as it sits right now. So we're going to install this camshaft, new valve springs, the DOD AFM Delete, full exhaust, and we're going to take it right back to Biddle Motorsports, put it on the dyno, and prove it for you guys. We are going to lift the truck up, take the tires off of it, lower it on the lift. That way the truck's lower because I'm really short and I can't hang over. So we're taking the tires off so we can slam this truck on the ground like a real Texan and then we're going to start working on it. We're getting there, getting the car torn apart. Got the valve covers off, rocker arms off. About to pull the radiator out. Got it drained. Accessories got to come off. We're gonna start doing a cam swap. All right, so it's end of day one. And let me tell you, we've been getting beat up. All right, so we're used to working on cut up race cars. We got all the room in the world, but in this case, it's a newer factory vehicle. So we're being very careful, trying to do everything the correct way, and we're pretty slow. So with that being said, we got all the front accessories off. We got the intake manifold off. We got the exhaust unbolted. So now tomorrow, we got to pull the heads, that front cover, pull the cam out, and start reinstalling all this stuff. Day two, boys are already hard at work, finishing taking everything out, disassembling the motor so we can do the cam swap. Last night we weren't thinking, and on the Gen 5s you do have to drop the oil pan because the cam gear will not drop low enough to roll the chain off of it and pull the cam out. So um, that's added a few little steps. We're going to drop that oil pan in order to pull the oil pump in order to get that stuff off. So we'll see how much we get done today. Hopefully we get the car or truck completely disassembled and starting going back together and maybe we'll finish this up on Wednesday, but stay tuned. Oh, we just got the fans out. Um, we're now disconnecting the oil cooler lines, transmission cooler lines, so we can pull this radiator out because as we know, there's not enough room to pull the cam straight out. So this radiator's gotta go. Um, we'll probably have to take that air box off. And then at that point, harmonic balancer, front cover, oil pan, and then it'll uh, be ready to pull the cam out. So we're getting pretty close.
take that one. All right, so those are little clips that hold on the uh, trans cooler, oil cooler. Let's see. All right, that one's off. That one's off. Okay, so now at this point, we got the bolts holding it in. Pop this little plastic piece off, and then the radiator comes out. We got wood in here, we got moths in here, weight reduction. And here's another clip that I dropped. We got another clip. So. All right, so these uh, Gen 5 engines are a little bit more involved than the Gen 4s. Like I said, the oil pan has to come off in order to remove the oil pump, in order to remove the cam gear. With that being said, you have two options at this point. You can either pull the engine, or you can struggle inside here. Um, with this low lift, new stage one low lift cam, we're not gonna be running the torque converter on this, this truck. So it's gonna be a stock torque converter. So if we did have to replace a torque converter, I would advise you to pull the engine out. I wanna pull the engine out. But for you guys, and so y'all can see a struggle, we're gonna leave the engine in here and we're gonna show you what it's like to do this inside the car. So nine times out of 10, I like to just pull everything out, have it right there in front of me, we can do the heads, the cam, all the other stuff outside of the car. That's the way I like to work. But nine times out of 10, people are gonna leave the engine in. So we're gonna leave the engine in and we're gonna keep moving on from here. Un <laughs> unbolt that uh, harmonic balancer bolt, which is at 230 foot pounds. Impact will go for you. I mean, I could maybe do it, but. Chrome sockets on impacts, baby. Right, that's how we roll. <laughs> That ain't work. <laughs> Just like everything else in your truck, it's extremely tight. Last time I seen it, it was hitting Craig in the face. <laughs> W20 sandwich. End of day two, we're cleaning up, we're about to go home. We got it about 96% disassembled, all right? So we gotta take the valley cover off, the oil pan off, the front cover off, and it'll be ready to roll. Um, we're probably, I'd say, what, seven hours in this project, Jared, so far? Seven hours in this project, and this is where we're at. So if you wanna come and look at this and check out our, our progress. So we're at this point, there's just a lot of stuff in the way. A lot of harnesses, a lot of clips, a lot of plugs, a lot of everything. So this is where we're at at about the seven hour mark. It has been much more difficult than we expected. Um, but tomorrow we will finish the disassembly, hopefully have the cam in, all that stuff buttoned up. And then now instead of Wednesday, we're probably looking at Thursday or Friday. <laughs> we're just gonna keep pushing this back one or two days at a time and go from there, no big deal. So 
We'll see how much. What do y'all think? T Thursday, Friday? Okay, Thursday, firing it up. Hopefully, go to Biddle on Friday and get a tune up. So, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Science. All right, this is what's going on. It's day three. We've had a couple things come up. I took the cylinder heads to the cylinder head department. It's like, hey guys, can y'all throw the springs on these things? Deck them real quick. And one of the heads is cracked right in the exhaust port. With that being said, we work at Tech Speed and Performance and there are some shelf stock ported L83 heads on the shelf ready to go. So we grab some shelf stock L83 heads. Number two, the truck has a rear main seal leaking. Rear main seal leaking paired with this is really a, a pain with it in the truck mixed with it's almost already out as it is. We're pulling the engine out so I can build it on a stand. So this engine's coming out right now. We're putting it on an engine stand. We're gonna rebuild it with a fresh set of tech speed and performance shelf stock L83 ported heads. We're gonna throw this cam in there and then uh, put it all back together and slide the engine back in and hopefully this goes a lot easier than taking it out. Hood's coming out. Leaking into the combustion chamber. I mean, it was flashing it out the exhaust, but which is a good thing. You'd rather it be in the exhaust port than leaking in your cylinder and then, yeah. Um, oh. That's gonna be the next problem. <laughs> we might not have enough hoist. So we got like, we need another six inches, boys. Note to self, way shorter chain next time. I don't know why I did that. In is out, we're about to put it on a stand and uh, get this thing cleaned up and final disassembly. And um, this way though, I'll be able to, you know, clean the decks up. We can do everything the proper way, have it RTV looking good. So I'm happy we got it out now and it's gonna go smooth. Welcome to the machine shop, bro. Here you go. That big dude right here. Give her the beans, she'll come right off. Nope. It's on one. Yeah. I was okay, off. now it'll come off. Oh boy. Cut that off the video. <laughs> you got punch. That smells so bad. We should have done this to begin with. The heads were off. The heads were off, so I just stood in there and did it. Um, yeah. But if if usually I would take the trans cross member out, dip it down as far as possible, and get like a two foot extension and get them out. All right. All right. Now. Let's do this my way. We can build this on the stand. Because I'm spoiled. Yeah, lower it. Alright, you're good. Lower it all the way. Yeah. Get the washer too. Ooh, ooh, washer. I need to eat some dinner. So I'm gonna wash my hands, we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna continue tearing this thing down.
All right, so the major reason we're doing this cam swap, the Gen 4 and Gen 5 LS engines have DOD AFM, so it's active fuel management. It cuts off four of your cylinders. So number one, number four, number six, and number seven all get cut off. They use these collapsible DOD AFM lifters right here. These fail. When these fail, they damage the camshaft, sends metal through the motor, damages the bearings, and your engine's junk. So to prevent that, this truck has about 84,000 miles on it. We're gonna go ahead and do this cam swap, and this gets rid of a whole list of problems on these engines. So we're gonna be replacing these with LS7 lifters, the aftermarket Texas Speed Stage 1 low lift camshaft, and we'll be good. Can get in the out. Okay, now smear that all around there. All right, and then just hang it on there. Just slide it in that first. All right, let it let's stop right there. Don't go any farther. Steady. Yep. You'll feel it. You're good. There's nothing blocking you, right? It's the end of the night, engine's out, camshaft's in. We got a lot of work to do, but we're about to uh, clean up the shop, call it a night. Day four is tomorrow, Thursday. We got an engine to build, so stay tuned.